Before you start this video, I would like you guys to hit that like button and share this video. By doing so, you help this video move through the algorithm. Have you ever laid down with someone and when you got up, you felt tired, you felt out of place, you felt drained? Well, today, I'm going to explain why. Have you ever heard of the phrase, bad company corrupts good character? Well, this is what happens when we lay down with people who are not energetically sound. When we lay down with people like this, we take on their energy. So if they've went out, they've picked up whatever debris in the world. If they do not cleanse themselves, they're walking around like a spiritual trash compactor. But with this trash compactor, it's never really emptied out. It's just contained within that human being. Let's look at this individual as being spiritually constipated. All of that toxicity remains within their spiritual intestines. So now their body odor begins to reek. You know, their feet stinks. This is how it is spiritually for these people. But we are very insensitive. That's why we're not able to perceive these things. But the few of us who do, we feel what other people do not feel we feel at times an uneasiness when we lay down with people like this when we get up a matter of fact it may linger for a couple of hours before we do our cleansing but this is a a nuisance because we may be having a good day and as soon as we lay down with people of this sort, we begin to feel tired. We begin to feel drained. And sometimes we may even feel sick. This is why it's good to know who we are getting involved with so we don't become surprised. See, when you know who you're dealing with, you know how to deal with what's presented to you. When you don't know, you're just, wow, reacting off of what you feel. You may not even be aware those feelings that you're harboring are not yours. The thoughts that you have crossing your mind, they're not yours. See, when you are spiritually immature, you will not realize that those intrusive thoughts those feelings that you're harboring are not yours. And then you'll begin to act off of those as if they belong to you. When dealing with people that are not energetically compatible with us, let me correct that. When we're dealing with human spiritual trash compactors, we have to be aware of the things they cause. You know, we have to understand their energy, what their energy does to us, because if we do not know, we'll begin to act as if those are our own. But the best thing I recommend with this 
it's taking a cleanse. If you're a person that likes to indulge in a lot of illicit sexual activities, if you're a female that works, if that's what you do for a living, or if you're a male that works and that's what you do for a living, you're gonna have to take a cleanse or you're gonna have to take a break sometimes because all that bad energy can wear you down. But if you're not sensitive like that and you're not aware of it, then <laughs> by all means, continue with what you're doing. But if you are sensitive and this is causing you a lot of grief, then maybe you need to slow down. Maybe you need to take a break from what you're doing. If you work in the clubs, you know, you work in the hotels and you're feeling like this is a problem or you've probably went through this and you're not aware of it, then maybe you should find a new profession or maybe you should slow down with what you're doing. Or if you're just a regular common man and woman and you just like to engage in a lot of extracurricular activities with different opponents. <laughs> opponents. <laughs> I would say this, maybe you need to find one person that's wholesome so that you don't go through this over and over and over. So with that said, I hope this video was very informative. Thank you guys for watching. Like, share, and subscribe.